Hi folks, Christy from Shark Pixel here and I am really excited to bring you this new feature and this is probably my favorite feature that has been announced today. There have been some major announcements from Adobe and from the Photoshop team and I cannot wait to tell you all about this specific one. This is outcropping. It's going to be a huge hit. It's definitely going to change the way I work in almost all of my images and I know it's going to do the same for you. So before we get started, please note that these new features that Adobe is announcing today are available in the public beta. So if you don't have the public beta of Photoshop downloaded, you're going to go to your Creative Cloud app. You're going to go over to the left hand side, scroll down to beta apps and find the public beta for Photoshop and either download it or update it. The version of the public beta that you want is 24.6. So that's the version that you need to make sure that you are working with. And then all of these features are going to be um, released to you to play with. And I cannot wait to show them all to you. So in this video, we're going to talk about outcropping. It is fantastic. So I've got this image here of my daughter and this is a composite that I created but let's say I wanted to change the aspect ratio of the image. Maybe I wanted to make it a little bit more um, of a horizontal image or anything like that. So what we'll start with is our crop tool. Now you will see something new. If this is your contextual taskbar. If you see that, it's going to help you with a lot of the AI generated tools that we have. And if you do not have it pinned and you go ahead and make a selection, that taskbar is going to follow you around your screen. So for me, that's a little bit too much. It's a little too nosy and in my business. So instead, I'm going to just drag and drop it and I'm going to come to my three dot menu within the contextual taskbar and I'm going to choose to pin the bar position up there so it does not move around. Okay. If you're not seeing your contextual taskbar for any reason, you can go up into your window menu. You can scroll down to the bottom and you'll find your contextual taskbar here in the window as well. So I'm calling it the menu bar, but it is more of a contextual taskbar. What are we going to do? Let's start with the crop tool. So we'll activate our crop tool and I'm going to go ahead and clear any settings that I might have. We'll bring this down all the way. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag outward on the side of the image and I'm going to go ahead and accept this wider crop. Then I'm going to use the marquee tool to make a selection. All of your generative features are all based off of something that is selected. So if you don't have anything selected, uh, meaning the mar you're not seeing the marching ants around any area, you haven't done select subject or anything like that, you're not going to get those generative AI um, or generative fill options to pop up. So that's fine. We're going to use our rectangular marquee tool. Going to come over to the side of our image and make a rectangular marquee around the side. Then in our contextual taskbar, we're going to choose generative fill and then we're not going to put in any prompt. We're just going to choose generate. So what this is doing now is it's beaming this image up to the cloud. It's going to reference the entire image using its AI um, and machine learning. It's going to look at the lighting, the coloration, the um, foreground, the midground, and the background, and it's going to give you three options. So here we have our three options. So yes, you do have to be um, connected to Wi-Fi. Variation one, variation two, and variation three. I would say I love variation one. Look at the added wheat that it is added on the side of this image. I mean, this is just blowing my mind. The clouds are seamless and they are just extended out exactly how I would have done it manually. This is bonkers. All right. There are two places to review your variations. One is going to be in the properties window here. You have your variations down here, but in your contextual taskbar, you also have the option to cycle through these using those left and right arrow keys as well. So I really love this one up here, that side. That's good for me. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side to make this more of a horizontal. So we'll go ahead, we'll take our um, crop tool. We're going to extend that out a little bit more over there. 
and then we'll accept this crop. Maybe I want to make her just a little bit more in the rule of thirds. Accept this crop, make a rectangular marquee around the area that we need to fill in. We'll come to our contextual taskbar, but if you don't want to, you can also go into your edit menu and choose generative fill from your edit menu. And again, you do not have to input any text for this to work. We're going to go ahead and hit generate. And while I've got you, if you're learning something new, if you're excited about these new features, comment below. Tell me what your favorite is going to be. I know what my favorite is, but I want to know what yours is. If you like learning about these features when they first come out, definitely consider subscribing and liking this video and sharing it with friends. Yes, this is super huge. It's really a big deal, and we want to tell all of our photo friends about these crazy new features. So definitely give it a share. Make you look like the smarty pants because you're the first to know. So here are our three variations. We've got one, we've got two, and we've got three. Again, this is way too dark for me. Uh, I really do love version one. I think it's the most realistic or, you know, I'm kind of tied version one or version two. I want to know what your favorite is in the comments. But here we can come in, just crop up on the bottom a little bit, maybe make this a little bit more of an extreme horizontal, not extreme, but a little bit more of a horizontal frame. And that's looking great. So if I hold down Option or Alt and I show you my before and my after with just a few clicks, no prompts at all, this is huge. I just wanted to say one more thing. So one of the biggest banes of my existence right now, I don't know about you, is um, having to create 9 by 16 vertical images for the fronts of my reel. So for the um, image that goes on the front of my Instagram reel. I don't know about you guys, this is a big crazy thing that is super frustrating and I hate having to do it by hand. So this is going to be a feature that's going to help tremendously with that. We can do the exact same thing we did before with our crop tool. We can come up here a little bit, maybe come in on the sides, the left and right sides. Go ahead and accept. And we'll choose our rectangular marquee and generative fill and choose generate. It's going to take that image up to the cloud and it's going to give us a generation of hopefully the top of the water or, you know, more of the water column. All right, there we go. Actually, I didn't even ask it to add the reflection of her, but it's not bad. It's really not bad. I might darken it a little bit, but that's, um, that's fine for me. Then what I'll do is I'll use the crop tool. I'm going to pull this down a little bit more, okay? Really make this a 16 by 9, maybe bring it in slightly on both sides so that it is more of a, um, sorry, not 16 by 9, 9 by 16. I'll go ahead and press OK. Use my rectangular marquee tool to make a selection of this bottom area of the reef. And then we're going to choose generative fill and choose generate one more time. Again, this is beaming the image up to the cloud. Wi-Fi must be accessible for this to work. And there we go. There is our ocean floor. So honestly, uh, either of the two first ones would be like spot on for what was actually there. And I shot this so I know. All right. Um, let me go ahead and just do a final crop of a 9 by 16 ratio. We'll bring it in a little bit on the top and the bottom but again I do not want to make I want to make sure that I do not kind of cut off the um, the model at all or the model's dress I'll go ahead and hit accept and there we are 
we have a beautiful 9 by 16 crop of the image that the reel is about. Even when I am photographing horizontally, I might go ahead and darken the top if I wanted to uh, very easily and quickly, but for what this does, in a fraction of the time it used to take, it is such a game changer. I want to hear what you guys think below in the comments. Definitely like, definitely subscribe if you want to be one of the first to know when new features come out. And I cannot wait to see what you guys think of the other three videos I am releasing today. Lastly, if you want to take a look at my almost 200 page ebook on my top 20 Photoshop retouching tips, you can check that out. The link is in the description as well. So have a good day. Happy exploring, happy creation. This is going to change the way we all use Photoshop and I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with.